Okay, let's look for the next checkpoint. Leave it to me. See, do I have my skills right? Okay. So I'm trying to get used to my controller setup. Ah. Just gonna punch this plant. Whoops, whiff that one. Ow. God damn it, we're in a disadvantage here. There. Killed. Oh crap. Uh I I hate water. Let's make sure I fill out the map sufficiently. Seriously, you guys need some actual water, underwater skills, so you don't die horribly. Gah! Okay... Anything else? Oh shit, it's you! Oh no. Ah. Ah. No. Well, good my team is effectively immortal thanks to their regen. Oh no. Oh no. No. Ah! I still want to kill one of these guys just for the experience and gear. No! Okay, managed to get her leveled up as well. Nice. Everyone else is gonna need to, yeah, just heal over time. It's really, I'm trying to get used to actually using the, the controls as they were meant to, but it's really hard. Hard to reflexively do that after having used a shortcut. Uh, my shortcuts for so long. Ah! My team is not healing very well. Arg. According to Alice Journal, the entrance to the underground ruin should be around here. Al came here pretty recently, right? Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Probably just overthinking. Okay, let's see if we can find something that looks like an entrance. Hmm, 46.8. Yeah, that's right. I need to make sure I'm getting my map completion. What's this? It appears to be a unique mechanism. Without knowing its function, however, we should exercise caution. Hold on, I think I've seen this somewhere before. That's right, it was an owl's notebook. There was a picture of in there that looked just like this. Owl took out his journal. Let's see. I have to somehow match the pattern. The cross pattern. Here we go, right here. 
Hmm, the pattern of differently shaped diamonds is indeed strikingly similar to the picture here. Alright, I'll time to get in king. Another ground ruins puzzle. Select a diamond shaped depression and press A or click to light slash unlight that depression as well as all others located immediately up, down, left, and right from it. Oh, one of these puzzles. Hmm. Well, that wasn't too bad. Well, let's see that checkpoint. It opened. So that was the solution. I've never seen such a thing as this before. Come on, everybody. Let's see what's inside. They're ground ruins. Uh. Okay, this lets us overlook the whole place. And I see the save point is just up ahead. Or teleport point. Good, this will make it easier. And a statue of a winged one. Adol, look at the statue! I've seen a statue like this before. Yeah, in Kaznia Mine. You said you heard a voice coming from it. Who the thought we'd find another one like it here? It might be an actual Eldeen, considering that th they turn to statues a lot. I've seen a statue like this near Komodo, too. It's said that many hundreds of years ago, there was a giant settlement in this area, large enough to be called a kingdom. A kingdom? Say, Adol, <coughs> didn't you hear something like that from Remnos, too? I don't know, remember which one. Gah! I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say 900. No, I'm pretty sure it was a little later. 800. Ah! He was really fascinated by stories of it and was always trying to research more <coughs> about it as inspiration for his poems. Although he wound up researching it in private since Fire and I were criticizing him just a little too much. Ah, uh, now I have to redo that dialogue option. Be right back. Okay, this time I'm saying 800. That's right, 800 years ago. He was really fascinated. Okay, the dialogue doesn't really change much, but I'm still doing it reloaded just for the sake of pride. So these are the remains of an ancient kingdom then. They may be connected to the primeval lands as well. Okay, what are we waiting for? Wing statue. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. I might need Karna for some sections. Oh no. Adol, do your thing! Ah. Damn it, they're everywhere! Are they popping out of the ground? I can't- I can't stop moving, they're just gonna pop out everywhere. Gah. Ah, I knew it. Why is my aim so bad? Hmm. Oh, man. Why is what is wrong for aim? God. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Burn! Yes! God. Anyone get any hit here? God. I'm going to hit multiples of you. Yeah. 
Yeah. They pull him shot. Think anyone of that? Seriously, these guys seem to keep on coming. Ah. Ah. All that just for a freaking ruby. We want to have Adol for, for just for these stupid slime enemies. All right. Now I have to go underwater. Oh man, I don't want to fight any war enemies. Karna has no range underwater, unfortunately. Where? Oh shit, I see something in the water. Yeah, some kind of shell type enemy. Where am I going here? Hmm. It says to head northeast first. Run. Come on. How are we supposed to fight you guys? Wait, you're weak to Pierce? Huh. Hold on, let me switch you out with Ozma. Ugh. Yeah, you guys are no match against Ozma, huh? Uh Yeah, he's better underwater fighting than Karna because he actually has range underwater. DX plus 4. How's it compared to our current one? Not very good. Okay, where to next? Southwest. Uh. God damn it, you guys. Oh shit! What? Is there a passage? Yes, there is. Oh man. Oh no. Stun rate. God damn, these guys are annoying. I'm glad these guys can't attack from above, but still. Ugh. Let's take this opportunity to master Sonic Raid and let everyone else try to get their heals in. Oh man, Durin. I'm glad I stacked a bunch of stuff on you to increase your passive healing. Hmm. Oh shit, they froze me! Gah. Looks like I'm gonna need Karna for this part. Okay. What else is there? Hmm. There's supposed to be a massive beast to the south. That's not good. Oh shit! You have way too much fucking range. Holy shit!
Holy shit! What am I supposed to do against you? Ah! Oh my god, this is a really nasty boss. Practically requires long range. I'm gonna have to- I should have brought Karna for this one. I also need to take this opportunity to use my newer skills. Ah! At least the crocodile monster didn't have super long range. <laughs> Alright, Spirit Cape. This will let us heal it indoors. I don't know why Adel doesn't just keep this one in every game. Huh. <sighs> Why are there two of these anyway? The first one did not really do much. Oh, cool. This looks Oh shit, do we have the mini fire cells? Before we do that, let's let's just heal up with our new spirit cake. Okay, time to continue onward. Oh shit. Let's just skip these guys if possible. This is bad. Seriously. Oh no. Bird. Oh wow. Yes! Yes, these guys are meant to be fight while small, huh? Hmm. Okay, on the other side, I have to go back to my normal size. Gah! Oh no. Oh shit, heavy! Oh shit. There's so many of these damn things. Oh god, I hit a bunch of them at once. Ah! Lots of skill finish. Oh my god. Oh, that took a while. So many of those guys. Holy shit. I'm so glad Karna's got her napalm. Or this would be a really, really, ugh. Hmm. Okay, did we grab the- yeah, we did. So they say there's supposed to be something useful here. What could be here? They say there's supposed to be some kind of treasure, but... Yeah. That's it? We could get that by killing that stupid crocodile monster. I better return to the fork. Be right back. Okay, I'm back at that fork. Let's just avoid the enemies as usual. Okay. Where am I now? Hmm. Oh, harvest. Oh, come on! I hate this boss so much! It can even reach into the other room! Hell no! Nah. Ah! 
Ah! I should get a skill finish. Yeah. What are we looking for here? A broken bridge. Which means we have to head down here if we want to get anywhere. Yeah. Gonna take this time to master my new skill. Haha. -ha. Okay, looks like not much I can do about this broken path yet. Maybe on the other side I'll get to it? Hmm. Okay, looks like I have to dwarf myself again. Hmm. I am at such a horrible disadvantage here. Just fuck off. Oh crap, they followed me! Ah! Take this! Okay, we kill him anyways. Is there really nothing down here? I thought there'd be like materials or something, but I guess not. Just an alcove full of, full of more monsters. Hmm. Wind Edge? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Wind Shroud Knife. Hmm. Oh crap, Al's on fire, isn't he? Ah. Oh no! I see a chest there. Burn! Double skill finish! Ruby! Oh god! I survived somehow. Which fork do I want to go into first? Hmm. Seriously. First of all, let's just head this away. I think I can see the chest that was on the other side before. Oh fuck you! Okay, good. I took out the big one first. Gah, but everyone else is kind of screwed due to the heavy. Ow. God damn, there's too many of you. Ah. Now! S multiple skill finish. Oh shit, there's still more of you! How much more? Oh man. Ah! Too much range. Ah. Yes, I got most of you in one. Hit. Oh man.
Front Surge. I already have Front Edge anyways, but this one increases different stuff. I'll stick with this one because I like the healing effect. Oh man. Where'd it go now? Is it the water or into that path there? Okay, I'm gonna need him for this one. Ha! Ah, just take care of that real quick. Something I can break here. Crap, there's more of you guys. Ah. Ah, gotcha. Okay, what's up here? Then? Oh no. Oh crap. Gah. There. Skill finish. Well, wait my Oh, I got Sonic Wave up to level 2. I never noticed. Huh. How far does this go? Okay, this one leads to a Sapphire, apparently. Ah, oh, damn it, I got set on fire. Okay. Let's keep going. Really hope we can find some kind of equipment that can make us resist every status effect someday. Okay. What's through here? Is there... There better be a save point, just saying. Yes. Good. I didn't feel like trying to get good at this boss, so this is just my second attempt. It's still kind of sloppy, but I didn't bar going for perfection this time. Alright, so for this one, you want to have Ozma and Karna in your party. Both to get the, uh, the party bonus and because they are necessary for certain phases of the fight. Now, Ozma, he's good against the legs portion because of his AoE skill. Of course, it's really hard to time that guard for me. Ah! Yeah, you choose such a horrible time to learn your new skill. Good going, Ozma. Ah! Crack burst again! Guard! Okay, now it's time to... Uh, but it's not going to get stunned at all. It'll still attack you in this state. Ow. Ow. That was bad. If only I had guarded properly. Okay, now I can guard properly and use my extra skill. It's an easy target. Alright. That's... I, we actually almost got to its second phase, actually. Yeah. Now all we have to do is... Wait for it to... Uh, 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 get its legs broken again. Crack burst. Ah, that was misplaced. Ouch. I, I can't seem to tie my guards at all, even with the B button. Ah. Uh. This game at least is merciful by giving you a lot of items. Like, no item limit at all. So you could, in theory, just cheese the whole fight. Yeah, it didn't really get- it just went into a second phase as soon as I knocked out the legs. <laughs> okay, now Karna is necessary because you can only hit its weak point with high aiming attacks. Yeah, I might want to stand in front of it for this. Otherwise, I won't be able to hit it. Uh-oh. 
You can go either really close or really far away for, to avoid that attack. And also, its sword seems to be able to block my knives. That sucks. Also, don't try to flash guard this one because the timing is not, you know, continuous. Ugh. Well, at least my allies are effectively immortal due to the <laughs> due to how they <laughs> have automatic regen on their armor. That way they can continue being in attack mode for all I care. As long as I don't let my controllable character die, I'm good. Ah, I'm so close to victory. Ah, I feel so I have to guard that. Ah, why? Uh, my guarding timing is n still not that great. My body doesn't do what my mind tells it to do kind of thing. Ah, I turned around too quickly. Oh well, it's dead now. Okay, I actually missed a chest here. Bear Potion. Now my record should be up to date. Yes, 36.6. Harvest points, 56.9, is that right? Hmm, still missing one. Not good. Okay, turns out that missing harvest point was somewhere around this area. It was near one of the crocodiles, and I guess because I was too afraid of fighting the crocodile, I didn't get close enough to the harvest point to actually register it. Well, now that's changed, and now all the harvest points are up to date. Haha! -ha. <coughs> yeah, let's continue on. No robots are reappearing. Good. Yeah, that was really eating at me. I, I was traveling through old dungeons as well, just to be extra sure. Seriously, this harvest point system is pretty difficult. Getting 100% completion on the map. Uh, I, just, I just hope I get the item that turns me into a ruse sooner or later. That'll make it so much easier to explore, because that way monsters will not attack me. Gravestones? Well, we're out, but where are we? Obviously, that means there's been some civil there's civilization here in the primeval lands. Hmm. It appears to be a graveyard, and a well-kept one at that. Not quite what I was expecting. So, we're in the primeval lands now, right? Look over there. Is that Komodo's great tree? Seems to be, yeah. If that's over there, then I think we can safely say we made it. These are the primeval lands for sure, right at all? Right. I don't know though, I feel kinda let down. After all, I thought our arrival here would be a little more dramatic. Like we'd all emerge into a stunning new world and shout uncontrollably with glee or something. Huh? No, it's okay, Karna. The moment's passed. No sense forcing it. What is this? What's that? What's what? Oh, shit! Here lies Abel Kristen. Died at the age of 18. Did you see a ghost? Do I look at the kind of girl who'd be scared of ghosts? Just look at the gravestone. The gravestone. Oh, should I actually press the record button when I wanted to press the screenshot button? Heh. <laughs> oh well, I didn't lose any text, of course. So it's all good. Adol and the others examined the from the gravestone. An inscription was carved into its smooth, clean surface. Here lies Adol Kristen. What? I don't remember dying. Now that's something you don't hear every day. But unless there's someone else around here who happens to have the exact same name as you, and around the same age... Still, the fact that there exists a graveyard here at all indicates that this side of the river is definitely inhabited. And by all appearances, its inhabitants must live quite nearby. Yeah, these flowers are still fresh, and the gravestone itself looks brand new. 
Not to add to the questions we already have, but this has been bugging me since we found the ruins entrance to Celray. I wasn't sure before, but I definitely am now. There were no signs of anyone going through those ruins in a long time. So it's been a long time since I last went there? That doesn't make sense. I know, but I'm completely confident it's true. But here's a grave of Al's name on it, so that proves he did come through here, right? If this wasn't his point of entry, then how did he get across the river? I cannot imagine any other route. It seems we are left with more questions than answers. Look at that! It's that paper airplane bird again! Isn't that the same kind of bird we saw in Celray? I don't think it's a bird. It looks like one, but it's not flapping its wings. Well, if it's not a bird, then what is it? It came from deeper in the primeval lands, but beyond that, I have no idea. Are you okay, Adol? One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this on wings of their own creation. Hold on! What is it this time? Adol explained that he heard a voice in his head and described what it said to him. What? That doesn't make any sense! You weren't kidding, Ozma. I've got nothing but questions swimming around my head right about now. I know, isn't it exciting? For you, I'm sure. If it weren't, I think you were some kind of imposter. We won't find any of the answers we need by standing around here. I agree. We should c continue up the hill and try to find the people who tend this graveyard. Tranquil Hill. Closer to the truth achievement unlocked. Alright, got my hero's cloak on so that I can keep getting stronger. Oh no, this is a different shape so it won't teleport me to the yellow ones from before. Yeah, it'll be a while before I can actually <coughs> use every save point freely. Oh well. At least I can still run over to that other blue point and slowly make my way back. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed fighting a robot that wasn't made by Ouroboros, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.